So once again, we're going to be installing tubeless today. Welcome back if you haven't been here in a while. Um, if you have been, you've been following, you knew we were going to be doing this soon. We're going to do the back tire first. I had to order the rim tape through Rocky Mountain. Obviously, I took the, uh, the tubeless out of the 450. I blew the, front, I blew the front tire a long time ago on the 450 and went to a bib. I'm going to try to do tubeless again. I think it was just the tire, so we're going to try to do that, and uh, we're definitely going to do the back right now, so stick with me. Okay guys, we're gonna pick up where we left off on the last video. So we were starting to install the tubeless, but I had a dentist appointment that night, so we had to stop doing what we were doing. So we're gonna get back to that. Here's the wheel on my little tire change stand that I'm real proud of. <laughs> it's just a steel rod, uh, dowel rod in a vise. Works real good, so if you don't wanna buy a tire change station, this is your deal right here. You already have a vice that is. So I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna video some of the, uh, the tubeless. I start off by drilling this hole in your uh, rim. You already have two holes, one for a rim lock, one for the uh, inner tube. But this uh, outside valve stem is huge, so you have to drill out the hole. And I have a 15, 30 seconds drill bit that I'm using. Should be just a hair larger than the threads on that, so we're going to drill that out. Easy as that. Now that I've made a big mess, I get the vacuum out. Vacuum this shit up real quick. Okay, so I took Don Dish Soap. Dawn dish soap and water and I mixed it in a bottle that way you can clean things and also this is what you use to seal the um, the tire and the inner bladder and all that so that way you don't have any leaks what it does when you pressurize it it's already clean number one number two when you pressurize it it makes all the air bubbles and everything slide out with the foam and you'll have a bunch of foam on your tire You'll wipe that clean, obviously, and then you check for uh, for any leaks. It shouldn't leak if you install it correctly, which I'm about to do the rim tape right now. Like I said, I had to order the tape for the front and rear rims. They are different. You actually have to order them per wheel because of the length. I don't think the width is any different, but the length of the tape, I think, is different. So you're going to do three, four wraps. You start right in the center. And then you work up, you ramp up one side, and then you ramp up the other, not going past this beveled edge right here. You're supposed to stop right at that edge on either side. So it shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to get to it now. You always start in the center, and you do not stretch it as you're putting it out. You just lay it in there flat. So you don't pull tight. as I'm pulling tight. <laughs> but you don't pull tight as you're laying it in. You lay it in there nice and flat. That way it's covering all the uneven space there because obviously you got your spokes and everything else. And again, this doesn't have to be precise. You just want it to be good. You want it to be good and sealed up. Once you got all three wraps, you take a utility knife or a box cutter, cut your tape straight across. Obviously you overlap it at the very end just an inch or two just to make sure it's all covered up and then you got a little bit left. It's 
pretty much just enough for a wheel wrap so then you have to find your uh, your two holes obviously you just take a knife and you cut those out you just have to be careful that you don't uh, cut the tape much past it what I normally do is I just cut an X out in it and then just jam it through so that way you don't mess up your tape too bad I'll set you guys up on the bench so we can get this uh, this tire put back on okay so this is where you start using your Dawn dish soap here your little uh, concoction you made up you don't need to get crazy with it but like I said I already drew up my wheel so everything's good to go I already got the uh, the two valve stems in and I screwed the nuts on loose so that way they don't back off but I'm gonna spray this thing with soap now and you'll have to reapply it a few times as you go around it's not a big deal trust me you'd rather have more than enough and I'll spray the wheel too just to help lubricate this thing use your tire spoons just like you're mounting a tire pretty much okay battery died as soon as I got it on there so here it is we're good to go coated in soap again don't forget that so now we're going to take this piece here it's supplied in the um, in the kit okay so for this part you put this piece down in the tire like so we're going to put it on this way I think so put this piece down in the tire and you push down on your wheel and you start working it on. I'm gonna spray some soap on it now to help me. Well. There we go. Now you can take this piece out. And you'll use it on your front wheel as well. It's the same exact setup. Okay, so now we're going to get back to mounting this tire on. It's going to mount exactly the same as a regular tire from here on out. You just want to uh, obviously make sure you have plenty of dish soap on this thing. And I prefer doing dish soap above Armor All or anything. I know uh, Kyle Brotherson uses Armor All, but this shit doesn't make a mess and it smells good. Not that Tire Shine doesn't, but I really enjoy the clean smell of Dawn dish soap, personally. That was too easy. It's gonna blow some bubbles out when you put the air chuck to it and you air the shit out of it, because the inner bladder goes to 110 PSI. The outside, when you're seating it, you'll probably pump it to around 30 PSI. You can drop it down all the way to four PSI. That's the main cool part about tubeless, is you can run little to no air pressure in this thing it's freaking awesome so like I was saying when you air this up it's gonna get some bubbles out of it not a big deal as long as you don't see them keep building bubbles you know what I'm saying you don't want that that would be bad so easy as that anyway guys if you guys like this video Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're going to uh, continue to post dirt bike videos as often as we can. We're going to have a lot of content with this new bike coming up. And uh, we got a few big rides coming up here in January. So stick with us. Let's say it's shitty and cold up here in Columbus, Ohio. So uh, we're going to keep working at it. We're going to keep moving and keep bringing you guys content. Thanks for watching again, guys. We'll see you later. See ya.